When I think about women and, and legacy and where we are, certainly it's a, it's a great time for women. When you think that even Time Magazine, their person of the year this year was the woman. How exciting is that? Where I'm stymied and where I feel the biggest disconnect is with women in leadership, when you think about this number, that 6.4% of CEO positions in the Fortune 500 are women, that's a disgrace, that's not right, and we have to do something about it. And when I think about it, I sometimes think, are we creating our own self-imposed barriers? Are there things that we're not doing that we should be doing to just to get ahead and not be waiting for companies to decide that they have to hire more women in leadership positions. We can't wait. We've got to be way more active. We've got to be bold. We have to be assertive. We have to be resilient. We have to be so, so out there and in your face. And we have to not be sheepish. As women, we have to stop whining. We have to stop wringing our hands. We've got to go out and make a difference. We've got to go out and make change and be change agents and think of leadership with everything we do and think very aggressively about how we get up to and get into the position that we want and it's women helping women we've got to have each other's backs we have to inspire ourselves and it's not only about inspiration it's about perspiration we gotta get out there and work it and work it hard and learn how to do it and take lessons from men you know men in business they're great networkers they work when they're on the golf course, they work late at night. They, they, you know, I think we should look at them and not always, you know, have them the enemy because they've got to buy in. But rather than create parity, I think that we've got to just become extraordinary at what we do and be better.